All right. So today we're going to continue some more Red Dead 2. Once again, it's probably you can see that tree all the way out there in the valley. <laughs> I know exactly what that tree is. Anyway, already getting sidetracked. So today we're going to rescue Micah and see how that goes. And if we survive that, which we will, because we'll have to do it over and over and over again if we fail, we'll just keep going with the story. I think doing that, I, I'm going to push the story, and I believe I remember which mission. I can't say for certain, because it's been a few years since I played this game, but I believe I remember which mission it is that initiates us having to leave the Valentine area, which after that we can't really come back to this area for a while in the story without it being similar to Blackwater where if we go there we're going to be hunted to death basically. So after this Micah mission, we're just going to run around I think a little bit, unless an, an innocent non-important random mission happens with one of the other members of the gang. Yep. But let's see what happens here. I already have a bounty of five dollars here. Hmm, five smackaroons. In today's current market, I could buy a gallon of gallon of gas with that you guys saw that right he just he just vanished he, he did he just blipped out of existence off to a good start okay <laughs> off to a fantastic start I give my preamble and a dude on a horse. Not just the dude, the horse vanished as well. So, I don't think I... I've seen... I've seen some weird stuff in this game. I can't recall ever just seeing a dude on a horse just disappear. Is like... I don't know, man. I don't know what to say about that. That was just instantaneous. going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silent. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Oh, Lies. <laughs> Arthur. There's, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people want to see you swing you got to do something arthur maybe uh find a way to free micah yeah we're gonna need i believe we do something really stupid oh we're we're just gonna do it now then huh a steam donkey i don't know what this contraption is but i assume it's to pull things Also, if for some reason the video, like, jump cuts to another moment, I don't anticipate it, but the lights are flickering in my house, so I don't know if the power's gonna go out or not. It's not storming, it's actually very hot out today, so I don't know if a transformer somewhere down one of the roads is overheating and is gonna blow up or what. How do I turn this thing on? Oh, lever. Alright, let's get this started. Off we go! Oh. Firmly grasp it. Y 
Yeah, that that'll do it. Let's get out of here. Come on. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> that was savage. That was totally unnecessary. He could have helped us. Micah just straight up point blank shot that dude in the forehead. He could have helped us, Micah. I don't know who he was, but the more the merrier in this situation, man. What the heck? Whatever. I don't think I've ever done this mission in daylight. So this is weird. I don't think I've ever seen this mission done in daylight. We're gonna do the double barrel. Shot his hat off somehow. Wow, as he was dismounting. Where are they coming from? Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I need food or something. Okay, let me get the carbine rifle for this guy. Right in the kidney. It took you this long to realize he was insane, Arthur? You've known him for s Wow, I was shot point blank in the head! Wow! That rarely happens. That dude had some aim. I'm not even upset at that. I am impressed. I am rarely killed instantly in this game. Uh, what do we got as a- Ooh, we got slugs, too. Good checkpoint, too, though. Yeah, I know we're in it. I can see that. Oh, I'm out of, uh... Slugs. Just a moment. We should be long gone by now. They got something of mine. I ain't leaving without. Keep shooting. Don't give up on me now. I'm out for the shotgun. We gotta use a rifle now. Mike, I can't shoot you, dude. Even though it would be good for the story. Making a house call. Whoopst. Don't mind me, my guy. I got. I'm. I'm just shopping. Okay. Okay, yeah. This is Micah, everybody. Had something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time. Arthur, you don't need to say that. We see. We see he's insane. Oh, hey, buddy.
Yeah, I was I was about to literally say the same thing. That's a cool that's a cool visual shot of Arthur, to be honest. Micah, where are we going? We're in the middle of the Oh the They're coming out of the woodworks. I think the horse literally just bucked the dude and he just died. Broke his neck. I didn't see a bullet kill that dude. I think he just fell. Yeah, and you're crazy, bud. A little wild. I assume so, since you killed him. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. He loves Micah. He really loves this guy. Finally lost him. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all the yeah, time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur? Sure. And me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <laughs> Bye now. Yeah. All right, man. See you later. He's such a weirdo. And he's gone. He's he's instantly gone. Micah is not to be seen anywhere on the horizon. Got wolves and they're chasing that dude now they're chasing us the horse is sprinting I can't control it hey dude could you maybe shoot up those wolves oh the, the wolves are still chasing wow they're ignoring the nope they're going after this dude yeah oh I want to watch this I want to see nature happen oh he got on his horse and he Huh. Horse, this is not the time to get Skyrim stuck on a rock. Okay, the wolves disappeared, I guess, now, because they just bleeped off the map. That was kind of fun to see that dude. Just to see an NPC have a weird interaction with wild animals. So what is going on in the world? What is going on in the world? All right, so we got a bounty in New Hanover. We got a bounty in... Oh, we got a bounty in St. Elizabeth County. Oh, man. 
Oh man, that's an expensive one too. Two hundred and fifteen dollars. <laughs> Blackwater's already just off limits, but oh man, two hundred and fifty for this area. There that makes that makes the thirty dollar bounty, which is still expensive, look like nothing. We should just like go up into Amarino and just chill. Alright, so what is this mission? John. John needs to speak to you. Okay. I don't remember what that mission is, but sure. Yep. I hope it's not the trigger mission for moving on to the next area or something. I don't think it is because I believe Micah has to come back first. Oh, it's the gold panner. I remember this dude. I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Hmm. Hey, give me some goddamn space here, will you? Okay, he got super angry. Yeah, like, chill. What? Whoa! Alright, Prospector, you wanna square up? Get back on the Oregon Trail, you gold digger! What the hell was this guy's problem? Jesus Christ, that escalated fast, just because I was standing near him. There's not even anything, like... Is there anything here? It's like that. I was trying to defuse the situation, but he just dropped everything and punched me. What's with his rifle? Is that like good or something? Drop sawed off shotgun for worn cattleman revolver. Uh I think I'm going to keep this. Yeah, that was completely pointless. I don't re the when I I remember this guy. I remember him what the crap is that? Oh, it's a duck. I was like what is splashing over there? I remember that guy from when I first played through this game, and we had a chill talk, and it was fine. That went completely different. Is this his horse? I think this is his horse. I mean, we can see if he had anything on the horse. I am so sorry. He died for some crackers. He died for some Ritz crackers. What an American. Oh, oh. Uh. I did that just because I was going to get found. 
Witness to mur- where? Who? Did the prospector come back to life? No, I see him. I see this guy! Let's go get him! Alright, we're running away now. Go. Oh yeah, this turned into a fine right mess. But at least the moon is out. I'm getting Ghost of Tsushima vibes from this lighting. It's kind of foggy blue night lighting. Kind of spooky. Yeah, it's just straight up spooky. Never mind. I'm strictly just following the map at this point because I can't see crap in this fog. at camp. Yeah, we are. Whew. All right. That was nuts. What can we give Arthur? Because he needs to, like, heal up and do other things. Hey, listen! Oi. Hey. Oi, no! Oh yeah, we rescued Sean last time. I completely forgot about that. Even you, Arthur. Even you. Well, we're back home now. So everything's going to be okay. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Do you seem in a good mood? I am. Son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. We partying. I've never been to a party. What are we gonna do? Play the pin the tail on the donkey? We're we gonna play pin the tail on Uncle? Oomst is over here, I can barely see them. Oh, it's Sadie, I think. No, that's Abigail. Yeah, no, it's Sadie. How are you doing, Mrs. Adler? Uh, not really in the party mood. I understand. We have not talked to her since we rescued her from her house, basically. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, it's good to have him back. Let's see if we're still saying that in a day or two. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay then. Did you miss him? You know, I think I actually did. Sean will make your life hell when he finds out you're an O'Driscoll. Oh, great. Grateful <laughs> you're alive. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yep, all right, man, see ya. 
Okay, well, let's talk more later. Look at Javier's hat. Oh, this is a party. This is fun. Even Uncle's in on this. I'm swaying with the song. This is fun. Strauss. Uh, is Swanson's head broken? It looks like he just snapped his... He just nearly... Like, one degree more and he would have become an owl right then. Anyway, I won't disturb you. You got it, Mr. Morgan. I'm making good excuse for celebrating. <laughs> Me and you never need one of those, Uncle. Not as Look big after as your boy tonight. Again. He's not my boy. Okay, okay. 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 Uncle. You didn't need much excuse. <laughs> Somebody needs to show you all how it's done. And I'm sure you will. Reverend. Hello. The, the Reverend's just here. What keeps happening? That man worries me. You worry me less, uncle. Look at him, he can dance. See, Arthur, it's okay to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. <laughs> <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. Does this just keep going forever? Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. <gasps> I was going to say, where's the music coming from? He's got a little Edison. Yeah, he's got a little Edison rec uh, Edison player. Arthur, now is not the time to jump on top of chests. We keep Uncle around for the entertainment. He's a funnier character than we ever knew. Okay, well, let's talk more. Like I, I, I sing a merry song. 
Let's sit down. Ooh, Javier's gonna play. Pearson, what did you just do to that cigarette? You, like, jacked it off and then threw it at me. I don't know what to feel. I don't know how to feel about you now, Pearson. I'm out of here. You creep me out, man. Mm, we can't leave now. We're singing. That's what you call a ring dang do. I think Arthur's all partied out. Oh, there's Hosea. Of course. Hey, that, oh, that nauseating Poppin' Jay in that frontier town. <laughs> and of course. <laughs> We're old man, Arthur. Let us live in our memories. Whatever you say, Dutch. <laughs> we did it. Hosea. Whatever else happens, we did it. I know. Dutch, you're saying that like you're going to die. Like, I know you guys live on the edge, but geez. <coughs> nice to see you in a good mood. Am I stuck in the past, Arthur? Only you can answer that. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. I love Arthur's attitude about everybody. Just, oh, how you doing? Oh, I'll see you later then. No matter what, it's so it's always a very positive kind of thing. You look rightly hammered, dude. Thank you, kid. I, I, I'm sorry, Art. I, I, I didn't mean it. It's just because I care. Uh, it's because I love you, Arthur. Really, it is. And then he falls over. Well, I should get back to it. <laughs> just like that. Just, I love doing that with Arthur. Just, ha just striking conversation with someone in this game. And then he's just like, well, see you later then. <laughs> I love that. Uh, that's great. You know what we should do at this party? Shave. All right, I guess we're going to have to wait for the next day, once the party's over, for us to continue. This was fun. This is a little different. I don't know how... I don't remember any of that, so I don't know... ...what I did the first time I played this game with that. But, yeah, just some talking to the characters. That's something we don't do a whole lot aside from the story. Javier is still going on his guitar. Jeez, man, you got some dedication to that. Reverend looks like he's dead over there. John, I didn't see you at the party. 
Where were you, man? Hey, Arthur. Were you just standing under this tree the whole day? What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk going down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border? Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> Stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. Shut up. <laughs> you might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, but real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. What was that little sprint he did just? It was it was like his his cutscene animation ended and then his AI took over and immediately he just went into a brisk run. That that was that was a quirk. I will probably remember about this game now. For some reason, that's going to stick with me. Little dumb moments like that that mean ultimately completely nothing. I will remember John's brisk run. I do need to buy more ammunition. One thing that has subconsciously stayed with me weird enough, and I'm only realizing this now after how many hours I've been playing this again, but the way I set my rifles up here because this is completely just whatever you want to be for the two long arms you have. This is exactly the same way I just did it the first time I ever played this game. If you look, I believe yeah, my first playthrough of this game I generally had like the shotgun on the left side and like the I don't know why the logic to me just kind of stuck like that. Where I'd have let me try and dissect that. I know I'm just speaking words, but... To me, it makes sense to have a powerful weapon, like a shotgun, just at your side. Sort of, just as like a brace of some sort. It's, it's hardy, it's gonna do a lot of damage, and it makes sense to me to have that at the side. So that, subconsciously, is why I think I have the shotgun there, and why I had it for most, if not all, of my playthrough the first time I played this game. And then, down at the bottom... This one I don't really have a visual aid for, but it just makes sense to me to have... ...a long-range weapon just be at the bottom. I'm not sure if it's because then I could just instantly flip down to it and get to it real quick. I'm not sure. I'm hearing gunshots. I don't. It's coming from over here. Oh. Well. Well, this is not good. Oh, uh, yep. Instantly dead. 
I went in Rambo style and I immediately died. Who could have predicted it? I lost a dollar from that. Right, so... No. Where are we going? We need the oil wagons and Micah has a mission. We're gonna do the oil stuff first. Let me put a marker so I can not have to just stare at the map. I remember failing this mission twice years ago. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, I had to go on this road anyway, so I would I would have died anyway. <laughs> That's fun to know. So what's going on with me today? Well, it is hot out. It is very hot. It is 80 degrees out, and it's been pretty normal the past... This is like the hottest day of the year so far. And it's only going to get hotter as the summer approaches. But, yeah, it's it's very hot, very humid. Not very fun weather. It's also cloudy, so it's not, like, fun to be outside and take photos or do other things. It's just kind of, eh. I would have run in there without my guns because of this horse. I don't have any ammo for the shotgun either. Lovely. Do I have ammo for the bow? Yeah, we're taking the bow instead of the shotgun because the shotgun's useless here right now. Okay, clean the gun. Clean the guns so that they work right and do some decent stuff. Let me do the rifle again. I cannot actually clean it anymore, so never mind. Right, so if I remember, I straight up need to fight everyone here, basically. The one caveat, I believe, is that the oil wagons just can... The oil carts cannot be damaged, if I remember right. Someone got pissed off. Okay, they seem. I think they chilled out. I'm gonna do a Ghost of Tsushima on this. I'm gonna try and snipe around and just weed out everybody if I can. Once I aggro them, they're all gonna try and kill me, but... How did this go down in the past? There's a lot of guys here. Here's the thing. This place has a shit ton of guys. And I do remember... Fighting out in this exact field and amongst here. Kind of ducking and weaving betwe between trees and just taking them out as they come. But there's a lot of guys here if I remember. So I need to stay back and try to just 
pick them out. It would be brilliant if there were a tree, like, right here. Can I hide in the bushes? I don't think that really works, and it doesn't give me any defense. Let me hide behind this. The bow is pointless at this range, but the rifle should be alright. Here we go. Well, there goes the wagon. I didn't expect it to spook the horses. I didn't know there were horses attached to it. I'm probably gonna die now. Where's that horse, where's that carriage going? Is it just gonna keep running forever? It seems like it is. Look at it go! It's going up the hill. It's, it's like it's doing its job for me, almost. It's not gonna work, though, because it's gonna... ...go off the map. Where is my horse, by the way? Get over here, stop! Come on. Okay, this one stopped here. Okay, it did stop. Great. Yep. Where are we taking it? All the way down here, okay. Is there a way on this road for me to... That's a long double back, but I, I'm actually going to take that double back. Because I don't want to pass by Cornwall again. <laughs> Sorry about the sniffing, it's partially due to the hot weather. Yeah, I, I'm not going to risk double backing towards Cornwall at this point. At this moment, I just gotta hope no random event happens that kills me. I might have jinxed it just by saying that, but... We'll find out! That's the nature of this game. We'll find out what happens! I'm surprised this barrel... That was, that's the big issue with these and why I failed this a couple times years ago is once these tanks take a bullet they just straight out leak the oil inside and you're basically on a timer at that point until the oil runs out and then you fail if it runs out so the fact that this thing got out of that gunfight on its own without any bullets I'm still amazed this thing got out of there on their own on its own you horses are brilliant. But the fact that we got out of there and this thing didn't take any hits, I'm impressed by. Now we just gotta make sure it doesn't for the rest of this trip. And we only had to kill, like, what? One dude? That wasn't too bad. I remember having a massive, basically, miniature war there the first time I did this. But it all worked out. It all, it all surprisingly worked out pretty smooth. A little chaotic at first, but... Not bad. Let's ri let's let's ride this thing into the train. 
That's that's what John wanted, right? Right, we gotta store it at the stable garage place thing. Maybe not. This is actually locked, by the way. Hmm. Where does John want this thing? Down? Like, he wants it down over there, but it's like, how do I... Is there a thing here? We are stuck. Can I back up the horse? Oh, no. Panic is setting in. Can I weave it through? What is happening? I can't see anything here. Yeah, he wants it like stored in this abandoned house, I guess. I'm trying my hardest not to damage this thing. Can they back up, please? Can they move to the left? They can move to the left. They can't move to the right for some reason. So now we gotta do that again. We gotta... I feel like I'm trying to park a bus. Who knew this would be the difficult part of the mission? Parking the thing. I'm a fantastic driver in real life, but this is nuts. We good? We're good. Oh, okay, we're done. We're done with that. Good. Yeah. Get out of here! Okay. The setup is complete. Your horse is out of whistle range. Looks like we're looks like we're Breath of the Wilding it. I heard something squatting in the mud making a weird noise. It was you. What is it? A rodent. That is a big rodent. Is it a rat? That's uh, a muskrat. I'll never get over how Arthur just rips the skin right off that thing. I don't- I don't know. I don't hunt. I've never hunted in my life and I never will. But if that is a real thing that you can do, it scares me. It actually scares me. I was gonna say it's bleeding out. Well, we're bringing back some skin to sell. One of the worst video games I have ever played in my life was Deer Hunter for the Xbox One. Deer Hunter Reloaded, that was it. 
it is... If you can find it for like a dollar, I recommend trying it because it is an experience of self-loathing and questioning your existence because it is a horrible video game. Not in the con- well, the content is horrible, but not, not in like the aspect of it. Just the game is just shit. I will not mince words. That game is horrible. What is this dude doing? Whoa, whoa, steady there. Don't scare away my dinner. Well, you chose a fair spot. What are you trying to shoot? There's nothing over here. Let's follow this guy and just see if he actually does anything. Yes, I know where you are. Got him! Did you see that? Perfect. Well shit, you're good at this. <laughs> Even Arthur's impressed. <laughs> Look at that blue sky. What was it? Coyote? Yeah, I think it was a coyote. I'll trade you my deer for your coyote. Well, that ho his horse just shit. All right. Random. Peaceful and random. Just do it out here hunting. Okay. I believe the normal circumstance would be to kill him, take his, loot his body, kill his horse, loot his horse, and then take the coyote pelt. But we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to find out whatever this question mark is. Oh, there's a tent down here. Hey there, friend. Come. Stop on by for a moment. The name's William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well... Let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. Ish. So that was magic. Ignoring this guy completely. 
I was holding the deer pelt, and because this happened, the game just automatically put the deer pelt into my inventory so I don't have to carry it anymore. That's bizarre. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. See how this tastes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. It's got a little bit of bitterness. It's got a little sweetness. Just a small, minuscule amount of sweetness. Well, this is for your if you dash a little pepper on it, it'll be just right. Just right. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, Don't ask how. how the game, game developers will be upset. I look forward to our next meeting, Travis. They watch us from the great sky above. What is angry at me? You see that? On the map, there's red. Oh, bounty hunters. I forgot those guys show up sometimes. Where are they? Oh, over there. Th they're those guys on that, I think? Let me use my gun. I think they're those guys on the horses way down over there. These guys. They seem to be approaching, too. I have the high ground, Anakin. Okay, I got one of them. I think this other one's on foot. Well, that was something. Where'd the other dude go down? One of the dudes died on his horse. Is it on the map even? I think the other guy just despawned. I think, I don't know, whatever. Never. Where is my horse? Not the settings menu. Where is it? It's over there, it says. So it's on the other side of this mesa? I believe that's a mesa. Plateau. Rock formation. Earth's pimple. There's another campsite up there. Okay, now my horse is in whistle range. Let's go see whatever's going on at this camp. 
Lo and behold, my horse is at the camp, already having a nice cooked meal. How many guys are here? Like two. Three. Four. Five. Alright, alright guys, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh, there's my horse coming over the horizon. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just picking some plants. Everything's fine. I'm just a naturalist. Just out here, examining the beautiful foliage Mother Earth provides us. The wonderful cacti with its pink purpley nubs and spinny spines across its rigid contours. If I had like a stick of dynamite or something, which I can get in this game, I would love to throw it at these guys. Just to see what happens. Let's do some shotgunning. I don't even uh Wow, one another is like two hits. That's kind of annoying. Like I accept the deaths, but it's just like, man, man. Come on. I lost another dollar. I'm not going to be able to buy lunch at the vending machine today. Oh, no. All right, enough messing around out here. Let's go back to John. He's actually right over here. Oh, I'm stupid. That's because camp is right here. I thought this was some weird little Camp John setup. Well done. Okay, okay, say no more. <laughs> I don't know what I just stopped Dutch from saying, but that was funny. Sit the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. So are we going, or... Because I have a bunch of new missions now from Hosea, Abigail... What are you doing, John? You getting Charles or no? 
Boo Williamson, I knew you weren't just some stupid lowlife. You got interdimensional properties, my good man. You see, he is a genius. <laughs> okay. That was something. Okay, John, so you're not going to go get Charles. You're just going to chill with Uncle and cut some wood. You all... You, un Uncle, you saw that? You see what that... You, no, you had your back turned? Okay. I'm going to keep my eye on you now, Bill. You're some Gontaro dim semi-demon thing. Let's go talk to Abigail. I hope she's normal. I don't know what's up with Bill. Bill is weird. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. <laughs> Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I think we're going to go take him fishing. Oh, ho, ho. They got laid. She had more fun. Uncle, did you... I guess he's jealous or something. I don't know. Weird. What you up to? Playing. Playing with what? A stick in the mud? You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. Fishing was something that in real life my dad wanted to do. I remember going to uh, stores and we would buy lures and fishing rods and such. We never did use them. I don't like the snow, Jack. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot Until we get run out again by the we by the law. Well, Till they find us. Storybooks are expensive, Jack. They're made of paper. Right back, Uncle Arthur. All right. Got to hang on, kid. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? 
Yeah. I'm just gonna bring the guns just cuz. Cheese. <laughs> really, we have cheese as bait. Cheese. Cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Fish on the line. I see. I see. The funny thing is, is the fishing controls here, I believe, are nearly identical to that of Shenmue 3. I think that's the situation here. Jack, that's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear them out first before you try to reel them in. That felt like the same controls that you use in Shenmue 3 for fishing. That's funny. It's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I'm going to try my luck over there. Just a nice day. This is a lovely day. Nature. No, it's... Not there yet. Nah, too slow there. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then you just sit and wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. <laughs> he says I guess. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Oh, lovely. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Five thousand dollars for your head. Ross home. rocking the Five Tom Selleck stash. Dollars for me? Can I turn myself in? <laughs> we want Vanderlyn. Oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, 
This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> Enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. No, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. <laughs> While you still can. Ross, shut the fuck up. Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Why is my horse over here? Well... Now the anta the real antagonists have set in. There are multiple antagonists. That's another thing that I just really like about this game is that it's not just a single antagonist. There are multiple groups of antagonists in this game, but I'd say the Pinkertons are kind of the most prominently important antagonists. Because they are literally the US government in this game trying to kill these cowboys. <laughs> he's... I think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, trying to kill these rambunctious fools out here trying to live wild and free. Actually, now, now I'm, my brain is just spacing out, thinking like, what, how many antagonists are in this game? You got the O'Driscolls, you got the two clan families in the next section after we're done with Valentine. Once we get to San Denis, there's going to be two feuding families. We got Micah, technically, is one, spoiler. We got the disease Arthur has that he doesn't know he has right now. We got the guys in Guarma that we'll see eventually. Uh, there are so many just like main storyline antagonists that at the core crux of it for the story plot, the disease is the main antagonist in a way, but as a person, I would say the main antagonist is Micah. You also have the Pinkertons. There's so many antagonists in this game. And then there's the Night Folk. There's so many. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and... Uh, Ross. <laughs> and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. 
They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. Why is there like an opera singer in the background? They're mountains. We just need to stay calm. Is this that grand of a pivotal moment that we need an opera singer? Or is that the Edison player behind us playing a cylinder? It is. <laughs> I was like, where's this opera music coming from? It's the stupid Edison player. And it just shut off on its own. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, it wasn't like a sound wall thing. It literally just shut off on its own. Alright. Well, we can continue Jack's mission. Not Jack, wow. Not, not the kid. Uh... John, his dad. So you brought the loudmouth kid back to us. I'm sorry. I wanted them to hang you. <laughs> Boy, he amuses me. He done good, Arthur. Boy. Okay, girl. Right, so now let's go to John. What is Hosea doing out here? Oh, this! I remember this mission. That's a fun one. Let's do the John one first, though. Let's do the train robbery. Wrap up this story. And we got Charles here to help, I guess. I don't know what he's gonna do. I get the feeling I'm going to be ambushed out here now. Paranoia. That wasn't very nice, Arthur. All right, this guy wants to fight. I am so sorry, dog. Wow, ruined dog. That's a statement. Yeah, there's stuff in here. I guess we're just gonna take it. We do need supplies, to be honest, though.
We don't need any coffee. Is there anything else? Steal the cheese. We don't need the bourbon. Really, we don't need the premium cigarettes. I'm gonna have him smoke them. Yeah, we have a full... Okay, yeah. Whoa, we got a catfish card. So the premium cigarettes, for those who don't know, they come with trading cards in them. Just random trading cards of different series and such, so that's why we got a catfish card there. I think that's it. It appears to be it for what we can get in here of any use. Whoa, Billy Goat, no. Why did you have to do that? Arthur, do not jump on the corpse. It won't take long. Is there anything else just out here? There's something actually, yeah, on this barrel. It looks like a trading card? Yeah. Stars of the stage. Millicent cigarettes. Who is this? Midi Comstock? I think that says. Oh, this is his hat. I was like, what is this thing over here? Is there anything else on his property? Is that another goat? I think, yeah, it's a bunch of goats, actually. They're all just walking in here now. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, just a lot of goats. <gasps> Where did you guys show up from? Okay. Yeah, I'm moving. See you later.
Right, let's get out of here. Let's go to John and do this train thing. We don't need to die in some stupid random event like that. Sean, is that you? Yeah, it is. What are you doing here, man? Shit. <clears throat> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Well, you can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? <laughs> real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, huh? Let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need convicts. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? <clears throat> I'm ready. Yeah, Char Charles, yeah. we can trust. Let's go on. Sean, I don't know if he's going to do something stupid. Oh, I got a lot of ammo for the... Okay, yeah, we're, we're good on the ammo. That's good. Whoa! Get out of the road. Jeez. No, we're fine, guys. Towards roads. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. And what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar that you're going to buy a breakfast in the morning. The wagon can't take this. The wagon is fine, guys. Relax. I don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's excessive. <laughs> oh, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing us. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to. Nobody needs what, John? Nobody needs what? Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I don't make sure she slows. I'll do what I with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. That was a neat effect when he had his foot on the rail. The controller vibrated with it.
I thought it'd be funny. Beat the shit out of that dude at the top hat. Everything you got. Money, valuable. Je vous en prie. I am a diversion. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this job's full. Everything you got. I ain't got nothing. We'll have a little shell. Pay me what you got, mister. You won't get hurt. Deal with these two, will you, Mr. M? Why do you take the phone well? Everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. Nothing else. Make People me hurt you. Make me sick. You two seem to think we're playing games. I want to count to three. Damn it. Three. Sick as bad as that lady. I'm Thank you. My goddamn patience. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. I'll get my whacking stick out. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Come on. Empty your pockets, mister. You can be all the way. We're on the clock here. Gonna need all your money, my friend. You got a big problem. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. What is it? You alright? Build a bag of taps. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? Probably something in here, Arthur. Yeah, there was something, someone. <laughs> Up above. There's a gold tooth in here. So, can we keep a watch on you? Gonna have a right out of the lump on my head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. And this racket says he's holy. Assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horse, Smith, get ready. You mean come off the train now, do you hear? Yes, we'll we politely come off the train. Come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way, neither you get killed. Goddamn living pet. There's a few more than torn up. Oh, great. Yeah, nice, Arthur. You jinxed it. Okay. Let's deal with them. Alright. 
Here we go. Yep, they're lawmen. Okay. They're over here. I didn't see them. Nice shot. Oh, this dude behind the tree is still here. I think he died. Hold on, let me loot one of them at least. Get some ammo. I know, I'm getting on. We're going. You need to move. Ride. Let's, lose Let's ride this way. That was a that wasn't too bad. That was better than the train up north. I think our friends got stuck. That didn't seem to matter, though. That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut up. Please, we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. So, speaking of that... Of John going to Valentine. I'm going to as well. Who is this? Albert Mason. Oh, the photographer dude again. Okay. Yeah, so he has a new mission. I forgot. Some continual missions like pop up on the map when they're available. But for now, we're going to go back to Valentine and pay off our bounty so we can, like, do things in this area for now. Because there will come a time when we won't really be able to pay off the bounty in Valentine <laughs> for a while. I think it just goes away at some point. Sorry, Charles. Sorry, man. But I, I, we kind of need to go buy ammunition and stuff. So I think it'd be smart to kind of clean up our act here and do some shopping. Some wonderful shopping at the mall. I actually went to the mall this past weekend. Did a bunch of shopping. And got some things that... Uh, are neat.
let's see if we can catch up to this train. Faster! We gotta catch this train! And now we gotta wait for the train to pass. Oh, man, okay, I guess we're going in on foot. Oh, he had to swoosh over and politely get on the steps. service quite the bounty you acquired ain't it <laughs> I could pay off the West Elizabeth bounty even why do oh, I have a bounty in Lemoyne too now I have a bounty everywhere great yes we're paying off bounties I never did anything wrong but I got falsely accused you know thank you really All right, now we can stock up on stuff. We need stuff. A lot of stuff. Where's my horse? What are you doing over there? Take this stuff in case we get in any, in any stupid situations. Uncle? Go ahead and call your mama for a lack here. You might want to quit that. That drunk's got mean friends, believe me. Oh, hell. Waste my time anyway. I appreciate it, Arthur. No sense of humor the fellers around here. How drunk were you? Just normal drunk. Anyway, I should probably hit the breeze. I'll be at camp if you need me. All right, just stay out of trouble, man. You're going to die. You know, I think so far this playthrough is, so far, turning out to be the most low-key thing I have done. I just feel like I'm not constantly talking for once. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but... I'm just kind of taking in all this still. Ooh, what, what do we got? Oatmeal, pork, and beans are out. Squirrel boil, whatever that is, is gone. But so we got oatmeal and pickled eggs. Thought better of it and came back, huh? So, well, look at you. You be careful there, partner. Oh, I think this is the guy that was uh, messing with Uncle. Let's do a bounty after I get some ammunition. Gunsmith's over here. Maybe we can get a new... We probably don't have enough money for a new gun, but... Uh, new marksman in town. Welcome. 
Well, I use this face as a blacksmith, too, so... Let me know if you need me to grab something for you from the catalog. Okay, now let me see. Let's take a look at the prices. Springfield. Bolt action, rolling block. Carcano rifle, sawed off. Yeah, the Springfield's kind of my bread and butter of a rifle in this game. So I might buy that. Could go for some poker. Perhaps Double barrel, pump action. Semi-auto. Repeating. What about the revolvers? Revolver Ocelot. Oh, the Lancaster sucks. I forgot about that. A Mauser. <laughs> That's the gun I believe that uh, Han Solo's You'll see a few people in blaster is modeled after. Look at the semi-automatic pistol. Look how alien that thing looks. It's like a pistol and it has a dildo on the back of it. Volcanic pistol. A showfield. Double action revolver. Cattleman. That's all of the guns and such. What are the accessories? Well, I'm going to get the Springfield. That is pretty much my normal rifle in this game. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. I'd like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Sheriff Malloy and his boys know about my best deals, as you can imagine. Paper boy stays at that post next to my shop any longer, I may lose it. <laughs> this guy for a gunsmith to snap. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, we don't need the guy ma making and selling guns to go crazy. I think that's it for that. I'm out of money, but yeah, Springfield rifle. I'm looking forward to testing this out. All right, now let's do a bounty job. Hello, Sheriff. It would be amazing if they all just started shooting at me, but I just woke them up. The Terror of Valentine. Wanted $25 reward. Elliot and Swan, a reward of $25 will be paid for the arrest of Ellie and Swan, wanted for the crime of matricide. The above amount will be paid immediately for the delivery of the prisoner. Wanted alive for questioning. No killing him. Known as the Black Widow. She has been seen in the Cumberland Falls area with an unknown male who may have been manipulating her. All information or reward claims to be addressed to Sheriff C. Malloy, Valentine Sheriff Office. All righty then. They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. 
was more. So matricide. So did she kill her partner? And now she's with another dude, I guess. Drama. Well, yeah, you're pretty far out here. All right, let's go get our twenty-five dollars. Let's go check on those dudes building that house. They're right here. Ah, uh, they made progress. to be honest with you listen I I, I I hate to ask but but uh, is, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish well I ain't promising nothing but I'll see what I can do there's a logging camp over in Big Valley pretty much straight west of here that might have lumber for sale maybe he'll see Alrighty then, later on. Yep. I also forgot I have this goat hide on the back of my horse I could sell. Yeah. Now, the first time I did that mission, I straight up just paid them a hundred bucks. I don't have that money on hand right now. Hey, stop right where you are. Oh, lovely. Nope. See you later. Are they going to chase after me? And no. Are they going to stay on that bridge? They're going to stay on that stupid bridge, huh? Where can I get some decent cover? Like, my aim would be better over here. This should do. Right in the head. This tree is in the way. That's the thing I remember about this gun, is that it, it is very lock and loaded. Shoot one at a time kind of thing, but I remember the damage output being very solid. And the range is good too.
Let's see if we can find oh, the wagons just up ahead. Okay. Is there anything else in here? Some hay. Gun oil, that's good. Because this chest is in the back of this wagon, it's like kind of having some issues with Arthur getting the items inside it. There's some pretty decent stuff in here. I think that's it. There's one more thing in there. I don't think I can get it, though. Oh, can't carry any more. Okay. I don't think that lockbox on the on the back of this wagon is going to have anything inside it, but sorry horse the other one ran off, so that's not the problem well, not a problem my horse is in the way alright, does this open? nope that horse died for nothing. All right. Let's get it going. Yeah, it's a little bit of a drop. Yep. Now we just gotta worry about bears. I think I shot him and the horse. Oh no, the horse is alive. I thought it I thought they were merging. I thought they were merging into some super being. Run away, horse. Before I take the things in your saddle. Yeah, I thought when they were squiggling around on the ground there, I thought they were merging into some super mon- some like secret super boss. The real boss of Red Dead Redemption 2. We got a big bounty out here. So there's somewhere out here. Now I gotta play Where's Waldo? Oh, it's one of those random ones.
It's a pretty large radius out here for this. I don't remember. I solidly don't remember this. So, I think I'm going to go to the train station up here and just take a look. It's the only building out here. And it's within the radius. Even if it is vague. There doesn't seem to be anything going on here. Who is this guy? Just some random dude with his gun out. Okay. Maybe they're towards the water? Yeah, there's a horse down there. I hear someone talking. Oh, don't tell me it's bounty hunters. Oh no, it's Ellie Ann Swan. Oh, they're down there. They're under, they're in like little... Lady, you crazy, and you jumping many dicks. That there's a bounty hunter. Get him. Down, little boy. Oh, right, I'm not supposed to kill her. <laughs> All right, retry that. I, I immediately was just like, well, time to kill them both. Okay, he is actually shooting at me. I was gonna like, well, maybe I could spare him. Oh, God damn it, you got him, <laughs> sweet dub. Son of a bitch. Hey, the previous time I killed him, you just said he was a dumb boy. So it's just like, what? What is it? Do you love him, or are are you crazy, miss? Drop like a fly. Yep. I'll be taking your canned meat. Mmm, delicious. There's a lot of coffee here. Cheese. It's the cheese grommet.
Is that it? You guys had cheese, alcohol, and meat. You better enjoy that goat pelt you're resting on. It's fresh. You got a ride ahead of you. Oh dear. What came over me? Did I did I just do those things? There's a, Let's see about a horrible this. blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. What did I just hit? I'm not like that. I'm a little girl. We're really. I promise I am. No, you're a black widow. You're going to kill me if I let you go. That was a no, miss. That, that was Arthur's way of saying no. Yeah, you're crazy. We let you go. You're going to keep killing people, miss. I'm sorry, but it has to be this way. You need help. And by that means you're going to jail and you might hang in this day and age. You're such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. This the help you're looking for? Arthur is savage. That is brutal, man. And she, yeah. Cut your belly open and show you your guts. Gutless bounty hunt nobody. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I wish you'd die. That was a pathetic scream. Ah. Miss, you're crazy. I, I love the twisting of like. You're such a big, strong man. Maybe if you were with me, then I'd be a good girl. I hate you. I'm going to cut open your guts and show them to you. <laughs> ah, that's the kind of crazy I appreciate. The toss of the coin. Nice big house. You can stay in here forever. You order a lady killer here, sir? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I protect my innocence. I protect my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feller out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. If you could put it on the desk, good sir. Thank you. I will gratefully Black take this $25. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Now that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties to impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Just little old you. What can you do? to your charms, Mrs. Swan. It's so boring in here. Can't we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. Don't do it, Sheriff. To think you a 
was sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. You see, Sheriff, I know your secrets, and I could spread them all over. Like Miss Mora? Don't you dare mention Mora again. Now hush. <laughs> oh. Show me some sympathy, Sheriff. I'm a widow. A poor little widow. A black widow? You're killing people. They can say what they like about you, but at least you respected the sanctity of marriage. Till death do us part. <laughs> is that all the is is that all the rest of the text? Okay. Have fun, Sheriff. Hopefully she doesn't kill anyone again. Oh, he's back. Hey, it's our friend. Hey, brother. Hey, mister. Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother. But I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed. Because you slept on it. What? what you, you did mean? what? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him. On account of his name. It's a fine name. A strong name. Like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. No, I can't. Yes, you could. No, I can't. I can, I'll, I'd be fine hugging you again, man, but I ain't doing that. All right, let's get out of here. So, yeah, we got like 25 bucks, right? We got 43 bucks. Let's sell this pelt. Oh, no. You good? You good? Okay, let's talk to the butcher before he goes until before someone wants to kill us. Excuse me. I think that dude's fine. Is a movie theater open? This isn't the movie theater. That's it over there, I think. Yeah. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Ticket for one, please. We'll be starting soon, just inside the tent there. Let's watch a movie. Let's have some fun. We've been doing a lot of weird stuff today. Let's let's just enjoy a movie. Folks, I'm gonna tell you a morality tale from when our country was young. The oh, the projector. Has it, my hat's actually in the way of the projector. Old man winter scary looking. Oh, <laughs> look at that bear. <laughs>
slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Well, You're talking to the wind again, eh? Think Bear is finally taking leave of his senses. Hey, this guy's listening to the sky. He thinks he thinks the sky's talking to him, guys. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man wind if he comes to calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. The turtle said, if wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Hmm. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and... Look at those laughing squirrels. Oh, they're animated! They're animated! Look at that. Bear was very sad. I kind of want to use this as the thumbnail! <laughs> I don't know why that's so amusing to me. Just Arthur up looking at the sad crying bear. I kind of want to use that as the thumbnail for today. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened. Oh, look at these dumbasses. They all died. And now they're food. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Art. That was beautiful art. Tell your friends. I will. None of them will live to watch it, though. Oh, I get on the horse and it shat immediately. It's like it's like the pressure of how much do you think Arthur weighs? I can tell you I weigh significantly less than this guy. But like I'm gonna just guess like two hundred. Just just like that I know that's like the average weight of a guy in the country right now, in the present, but Arthur he is kind of girthier as a guy. Just kind of beefy. Yeah, nope. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say he's like 190, 200. 190 on like the low end, 210 on the high end. But, uh, I'm, I'm, anyway, him getting on the horse just imme just reflexively immediately makes the horse shit because of the excess weight. I don't know why my brain thought of that, but it did, and I had to share it. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm actually done for the day, but I'm going to get close to the next mission, which tomorrow we'll start off with Hosea. I say tomorrow when, who knows when that video will go out. Uh, how about no? And it's an ambush. Just run. Horse. Gallop.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Now these guys at this camp are trying to kill me. Are they still pursuing me? Yes, they are. Jesus. I'm gonna raid this camp now, but man, these guys were persistent. That was nuts. And then these guys were just chilling out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and then they started shooting at me. It's like, you could have been shooting at the bad guys, guys. But no, you decided to choose the wrong team. I'll be taking your lotions. There's actually not a whole lot of anything out here. Well, since we're out here in the middle of nowhere, I want to see this for the first time in this playthrough. Can we do it? No, I don't want to take the bourbon next to me. I want to drop this, dude. Hey! Physics! Yep. This game is magical. Let's continue on to Jose. We still actually, he's still further out than this. So we, we would have had a ride anyway. Hey, the fellas! Aww. They, they stopped before I could run into them. I also, I also merged hey there fellas with howdy fellas and did hit it hit us. How you doing? It's a nice night. Hosea, what are you doing out here? How far away is this guy? Is he in this establishment? I think he's right behind it. Emer oh, we're at Emerald Ranch, okay. All right, I'm just going to cut it before they continue talking. We'll pick up immediately right here next time. It is late. I need to go to bed. So, thank you for watching, and we'll continue next time. Have a good night.